Out Your Hearts, I'm Kat, Katharina Giglio, and if you're uh, new to our channel, we want to thank you so much for um, stopping by and for uh, your subscriptions, your thumbs up, um, thanks for um, pushing that notification bell so you know when we get a new uh, video, when, when we put out a new video, and all, all those shares and, and your comments. Thank you so much for your comments. I love um, chatting with you. Um, it's been so much fun and I've been making so many new friends. So anyway, so we are back from our travels. We had a family issue we were taking care of. And um, today I'm going to be sharing with you um, my uh, 2019 um, art journal. So we're going to do a flip through of that. We're going to get lots of close-ups and um, I'm going to share my techniques with you and talk a little bit about what was going on each month. So this is my 2018-2019 um, art journal, and I really love it. I love the way it turned out. If you um, have been following us for a while, you know that we monoprinted a large piece of fabric, and I used that as the cover for my book, because this is what they normally look like. It's just a plain mixed media Strathmore journal, but I like them very much. I can really give them um, a beating and um, and it turns into something really glorious and it holds a lot of spreads and you can see how yummy it is and I know it's not going to fall apart it's really easy to use um, so I'm gonna we're gonna jump in here and I'm gonna show you um, that this beginning part of the journal is 2018 and then this is 2019. The very first spread is January and every January I always create a self-portrait and uh, in 2019 in January my hair had just started to grow back into white. I know you all comment about my hair and how it's grown out on um, on videos. <laughs> You've seen it from uh, the, some terrible stages um, and so thank you for hanging in there with me. Um, this, this spread was about aging and about being okay with it and and I journal wrote everything underneath and then as you see on top as well um, and uh, it was quite um, interesting to me to uh, to journal about it um, January is my birth month and it's always the beginning of the new year so I, I always like doing the self-portrait and um, and so this was a really fun one to do and the ingredients are black gesso white gesso um, colored pencil and uh, I used um, some metallic pencil. I hope you can see the kind of shimmer um, in there and uh, that's what I did. In February I always write myself a love letter so you can see um, there's part of the letter underneath here and of course I write underneath all of the the painting that you know what that's that I do that if, if you've been following me for any length of time you know I I journal right underneath too um, and I also did a video on um, mono printing fabric with uh, stencils and so that's what these these are pieces of fabric and these are stitched um, I stitched around the edges of the fabric so there's that wonderful texture going on and um, <clears throat> the I just uh, write about the things that I like about myself um, each year I'm wanting to accomplish more goals and so February is a time of taking stock um, about the things that I'm happy with myself about um, basically it's just digging yourself you know and just writing about what you really like about yourself that's what I do anyway and um, and that's what this is about old typewriter um, writing myself this love letter the ingredients in this month are, um, of course, mono printing, collage, um, and a lot of. I used a lot of gesso, and um, I like the rough texture, which creates this kind of runny look with the uh, writing. And um, there's a lot of collage. Okay, March. March was about 
the fickleness of the weather. I'll probably be writing about that this year too. Um, I want to be out in the garden. I want to be gardening and um, I was having a lot of issues getting out there and doing the things that I wanted to do. So birds and, and flowers and, and uh, that, that, that new green color that comes out every spring. I just tried to capture the newness of March. And uh, so the ingredients that I used were collage uh, and decollage and uh, a lot of um, antique ephemera. And then these are um, monoprints and um, they are on tissue paper. So <clears throat> in April, I was dealing with a health issue and I uh, was going through my stash and I found a piece of paper that I liked. I liked the writing and everything on it and slapped it down on the, on the, uh, um, on the journal page. And then I started reading it later and I realized I had an old prescription uh, that someone had left in a book that that's what I was actually using for these pieces to hold the, uh, the center focus of, of my April pages. And um, I like, I really love the way the colors look, colors to me, remind me of kind of a, a joy of April. Um, the, um, so the, the technique that I used um, for this month was um, I gessoed over the page and then I was just really quick with my painting technique. And uh, I used acrylic paint and, um, colored pencils and collage. And then I also um, used bits of fabric and um, this is handmade paper. These are handmade papers and some um, lace bits, which give it a textured effect. This is my May spread. And in May I was doing uh, the show in Fort Collins, Colorado, my, um, my excavation show. And so that's kind of, um, where this, what this is all about. And these are mono prints, um, uh, on, um, this is parchment and then, uh, old book pages. And I love the way this came out. It looks like a, a floret. Um, and then more mono printing. So these, this is layered paper um, and um, mono printing with acrylic paint. I know it looks like ink, but it really is um, acrylic paint, but it's on old book pages. So it has this wonderful sheen to it. Um, and then it's just the, the layers about um, the busyness and deadlines and getting everything done and um, what can actually flower in your life when you um, feel that sense of accomplishment. So, okay. In June, I felt like I was climbing mountains. I had a lot of things I wanted to do and get done. And, um, so this, um, spread is, is kind of about that climbing mountains and, uh, and not making mountains out of molehills to, um, not make, not borrowing trouble for myself and just kind of just plotting, staying on the path and getting work done, doing what I, what I know I can get done for the day and being glad with it. Um, and so often I think it, it's hard for me to take stock and take time to say it's okay okay, you know, what you've done today is, is good enough. It's pat yourself on the back and go to sleep. Um, so anyway, so this, so the technique in using this page is, um, it's, it's book page that I put down on the, on the, uh, on top of my writing. So you can see the book pages underneath. And then I just sewed over it very lightly, um, with a tightened buff, I think. No, it wasn't tightened buff. It was, um, a white um, titanium is what it is underneath here, or uh, it could have been something even a little bit lighter, but I might have used um, glaze. And then these are mono prints, which you know I'm in love with mono prints, and I have been for a very long time. Um, and so I just ripped those apart and used those as the elements in my collage, and then just um, collaged it back onto the page. And so acrylic paint, um, different kinds of paint. I, I particularly am in love with this gold um, and using gold as a, as a way of 
showing me where my bar is and where I want to reach for, what I want to reach for, where I'm going. Now, if you had asked me about this year, I would have told you that I worked, 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 and that we had no relaxation at all. But <laughs> I, I realized that when I saw this spread again, and we actually did this on camera, um, that there was this peaceful respite um, of July, and that there this was um, the spread, at, if you remember, um, and some of you do, that it, we did it on camera and I felt rather uncomfortable about it. I had no idea where it was going, but it just came out so beautifully and perfectly of clouds and, and blue sky. Um, so the ingredients in this page um, are paint and gesso and then fabrics and um, papers um, that were stitched together and uh, glued down to the page. And um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And it's such a joyful spread. And um, we've had a lot of uh, challenges this year, so this was really fun to see again. Okay, this spread goes two ways. It goes sideways like this, and then it also goes this way. This is the first time I've done a spread that looks like this. This is actually a tree that is outside of our home. And uh, I had this uh, photo, I photocopied it and then painted over it um, to get it this uh, wonderful uh, bright color. Um, this is the beginning of um, realizing that we have this family issue we had to attend to. Don's father is aging. And uh, for those of you who have an aging parent, you know all of the challenges that surround um, that kind of circumstance and dealing with estates and things like that. To me, um, this tree is, is represents, um, and it's, it's an old tree and someday it's going to fall down. And, um, but it's still beautiful um, and standing right now. So the, uh, the layers being ripped back and showing the tree. The ingredients are, um, I used a personal photo and I transferred it onto paper and then um, put it into the journal and then uh, I collaged around the tree. Um, these pieces are all um, hand painted papers and some of them are mono printed papers. So acrylic ink um, and that's basically it. Uh, at the end of September and um, part of October, we went back to Europe and we went to Denmark and we visited our wonderful friends Kirsten and Bjarnen and we um, loved their place and they had this magical green um, farm and um, so when I came back I, uh, I just wanted to just put down not the exact replica of what I saw but the feeling of this gorgeous green uh, leafy paradise um, and, and the little spots of golden light coming through and, um, and yeah it just kind of evokes for me that magical place that they've created in Denmark. It's an absolutely beautiful place. Um, so in this month I used um, I use gesso and uh, lots of different kinds of paint and alcohol ink. Um, I also used a lot of different kinds of papers, uh, a lot that were um, that were already printed, and then ripped those apart uh, to create my own sense of leaves. And um, I also used gold leafing on this on this spread, and I I love the way the green it looks so healing and peaceful to me. October, um, when we came home, I kind of was missing the beach, but I was also feeling like uh, I wasn't, I wasn't quite getting a lot done. There was, there were a lot of unfinished things, uh, a lot of waves and movements, um, a lot of things happening, um, and. Um, and I was starting to feel like I had been pulled under by the undertow. Um, and so that's what the spread is about and writing about um, it's really okay to fall behind and to take care of yourself and to do what you need to do. 
Um, and so that's what this spread is about. Um, it's, uh, it's acrylic paint and um, it's also, this is colored pencil. And um, of course this is uh, uh, paper, uh, fabric that's been torn apart. This is an old crochet. And these are bits of uh, tissue paper that are kind of in the waves here, um, forming in the waves. Okay, in November, um, I had given up on a lot of different things that I had wanted to do. We had taken a family trip and uh, for a wedding, which was wonderful, but um, all of the trips kind of took up time and we had our attention on personal matters, uh, family issue. And so um, by November, I kind of gave up on getting the, the normal things done that I, I do. And this, this spread is me becoming okay with it, that there is a certain standard that I usually set for myself um, for holidays and for getting a certain amount of work done, and I was falling behind those standards. Um, so this is me coming to terms with that. Um, and it's funny, but I really love the way it, it came out. Um, so this is collage and decollage. So I collaged it and then ripped it back and just kept chewing on the issue. And then I began to paint. So this is um, also acrylic paint on top of that. And I used China marker uh, for the white uh, scratches on here. And again, gold, you can see this year, gold has been really one of those uh, paint colors that for me just keeps coming back. Um, and I love the blue and brown. It's one of my favorite combinations, color combinations. Okay, December. Um, I don't know about you, but in my heart, there's this place at holiday that I'm always wanting to get to. I don't even know if it really exists. I think, I think it's like a Hallmark card that, you know, we want this um, really happy time and, and this, um, this beautiful place. Um, so, uh, so this is my, um, my, my vision of, um, you know, I'll be home for Christmas, you know, if only in my dreams that there's this, this place that lives on in our heart that's just beautiful and perfect and happy and loving. And that's what December was about. The ingredients are just simply paper. This is all paper, all different kinds of paper. And this is my, um, my excavation, um, um, technique, um, layering papers. Well, we're at Chow for now, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the the uh, trapes through my 2019 journal. And um, we have this, uh, this journal on our Amazon link. So if you um, are interested in getting it, you can pick it up there. And uh, I wanna thank you for taking this trapes through um, with me. It was actually more emotional than what I thought. Of course, it probably has something to do with the cold that I still have, I'm trying to get over that. And um, I wanna thank you for being here today. And um, until next time, We'll just say ciao for now.